Welcome back, Rhinos, to your favorite version of Crash Talk Sports. I'm your host, Gavin Rappa. I'm your other host, Jameson Elmer. Today, we're going to be diving into some local sports and some NFL sports as well. So, starting off with local, us, the Rhinos, played the Whitney Wildcats on Friday night. Obviously, you know, we came out victorious, had a rough start on offense, but, you know, throughout the game on halftime, you know, we had Isaiah Rodriguez popping off, Braden Ward popping off, Chase Willico popping off. So, you know, we had, we had a good time. You know, our quarterback, shout out Dale, you know, showed some, uh, showed that he was a man on Friday night, you know, running some people over. So, you know, I like to see that as my quarterback. What do you think about defense, Jay? Yes, sir. Uh, defense started off a little rough. We were letting Whitney get too many points, but we had a talk at halftime, shut them out in the second half, wouldn't let them do what they were doing in the first half to us. Defense played a way better game in the second half. Ended up victorious in the end. 54 to 28. That's all that matters. All right, starting off with the NFL, the season opener, we had the Ravens versus the Chiefs. This one, you know, was rough because, you know, I'm not really a big Taylor Swift fan. I wanted the Ravens to win. Isaiah likely, you know, had a uh, contradictual, you know, toe out of bounds to lose the game. But, you know, obviously the Chiefs came out on top like they always do, 27 to 20. What's your thoughts on the game, Jack? I mean, I think the Ravens should have won this one, but, I mean, Chiefs came out on top. I don't know, cheaters, something like that. Next game we got here, we got the Packers versus the Eagles, where the Eagles came out 34-29. I mean, I feel like the Eagles deserve this win, but what do you think about this game? You know, as a Bears fan, I love to see the Packers lose. Jordan Love, you're out, so the Bears have a chance to win now. Um, I think Jordan Love, you know, being a little soft, but go Eagles, am I right? Next game we have here, the Panthers and Saints. Um, I don't think anyone used their TV bill to watch this game. Um, the Saints beat them 47 to 10. Uh, if you're a Panthers fan, I'm not sure what you're doing. Let's switch that up. So Saints destroyed them here. Next game here we got um, Vikings versus the Giants. Uh, Vikings blew them out 28 to six. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with the Giants. I mean, they haven't had a good year here in like a few years, probably over like 10 years. Um, they've got to get the ball rolling here. What do you think about that? You know, I don't know as much on. as I, you know, shouldn't like the Vikings, sometimes I feel bad for the Giants because, you know, my boy Jacob Baxley is a diehard fan. But to be honest, they got no future at all. What I a mean, shame. No one. All right. You had, uh, did you see the uh, fans were burning Daniel Jones' jersey after the game? Yeah, I did see that. That's never yeah. good. All right, it's we crazy. have the Patriots Bengals here. Joe Burrow showed up in his beautiful bright orange jersey just to lose to a head coach I have never seen before. We have 16 to 10 here, Patriots. Joe Burrow bleached the hair and still, I mean, he couldn't pull it off. Uh, it's pretty crazy. And uh, here's our next game uh, Steelers versus Falcons. Joseph Falcuda came out on top on this one. Uh, 18 to 10, the Steelers pulled it off. George Pitkins went off on this game, you know. Your quarterback, they're feeling good with Russell, Russell Wilson. What do you think? Yeah, so Russell Wilson didn't play. Justin Fields played. Um, obviously, Justin Fields is going to be good. Look at the team he came from, the Chicago Bears. We grew him into the man he is now. Um, going to our next game, Texans Colts. Not sure if you guys turned your TV on for this one either. Did anyone watch this one? <clears throat> Texans came up 29-27. CJ Stroud didn't do bad. Like I said earlier, I don't think anyone on this planet likes either of those teams. Next game, Cardinals and Bills. Bills 34, Cardinals 28. Um, you know, not a big Bills fan here, but I'm surprised the Cardinals put up 28 still. You know, you got Kyler Murray. Didn't do so good last year, so. You know, not, not bad by the Cardinals. You know, MHJ got a little action, but yep, Bills on top on this one. Yeah, Kyler Murray was running around there like a little mouse trying to escape everybody. Couldn't run to a victory, so yeah, next game. Oh, we've got a best team in the league, the Bears versus the Titans. 24-17, the Bears pull off the W here. This man probably has some strong thoughts on it. Let's hear it, Gerd. So, um, yeah, we're not going to talk about how we didn't have an offensive score the whole game because that doesn't matter. You know, a win is a win. Um, but, you know, if the Bears can be that good without being, you know, good on offense, I can imagine how good we are, you know what I mean? Uh, mm -hmm. Next game here, Jaguars-Dolphins. Tyreek Hill still pulled this off, and he got arrested 20 minutes before the game. Uh, yeah. I'm not sure what happened there. I think he got arrested as in McLaren or something. 
But, you know, pulled it off 20 to 17. He had an 80 yard touchdown. What are your thoughts on the Tyreek Hill case? Uh, it was pretty crazy how he got arrested. He was probably, you know, speed and doing something illegal in that McLaren for him to get pulled over. Who knows? Uh, but he used that speed on the field to score a nice touchdown, I saw. And it was pretty nice. Uh, next game, we've got the Broncos versus Seahawks. Just a little thing on that Jaguars. Bernie Fattis, I'm sorry. Your team is not going to win a game for the next seven years. All right, so we got Broncos, Seahawks here. Um, yeah, not, not too much to say about this one, you know. I don't think anyone else is a Seahawks fan or a Broncos fan. But, yeah, somehow the Seahawks won this one. Um, I don't really know any players on the Seahawks except Geno Smith so and DK Metcalf, who did terrible that game. So Broncos country, that's right. Uh, we got Raiders Chargers. Shout out Caden Wright. You lost 22 to 10. Chargers, you know, Harbaugh's first game as a Chargers coach. Obviously, winning is great for him. What do you think about that? Yeah, I mean, Chargers beat the Raiders. I mean, the Raiders. I don't know what's going on with them, but. Yeah, yeah head Devontae our, Adams, dude. Yeah, Devontae Adams. Talent. Stuck on the Raiders here. Um, can't do anything about it. It's pretty crazy. But, you know, the Raiders got that quarterback, Gardner Minshew, so they're oh going to have a bright season this year. He's going to lead their team to victory. <laughs> All right, Cowboys, Broncos. Um, yeah, this one's rough. Or, no, not Cowboys, Broncos, Browns. Browns. Yeah, um, <clears throat> Browns, not, not too good this game. Uh, I don't think they, you know, have a bright future either. But, you know, Cowboys, hate to see them win, but, you know, they pull it off, so can't complain here. Yeah, good job, Cowgirls. I mean, pulled off the W here. I don't know if we're going to be getting too many Ws in, the, in this season, though. Yeah, so the Buccaneers need to zoom in and lock in. Um, the Commanders, you know, they lost. <laughs> but, you know, there's nothing you can say. Commanders, Buccaneers, like, Baker Mayfield, great job. <clears throat> Sadly, he didn't hit my parlay, which is great. But, you know, Mike Evans, I had his under as well, and uh, he hit. So I'm not winning any money off this game. So I'd rather just skip past this one. 37-20. Good game. Uh, next game, Monday or Sunday night football, Rams-Lions. Did you watch that game? Um, I didn't sniff this game. didn't even turn it on. Um, <laughs> looks like the Lions won. Uh, Went in 26 to 20, went in overtime. Yeah. Sounds like a good game. David Montgomery pulling off the W, also from the Bears. I don't know if you guys see the trend here. If they're from the Bears, you know, they're obviously doing great. So uh, we got one more game, which is tonight. Uh, we got Monday Night Football, Jets, 49ers. This one will be uh, this one will be interesting. You know, you got Brees Hall, you got Christian McCaffrey, but I'm pretty sure McCaffrey's still a little hurt. Obviously, he's going to play, but <clears throat> we'll see what happens here. I got the... You know, I'm going to go the Jets winning this one, 24-21. What's your predictions? Um, I think I got the 49ers here uh, coming out on top, 31-2. to two. I right, think that's so going to be – I think the that's – The 49ers are getting a safety, I guess, on the, uh, yeah. the Jets. But, yeah, there's our, safety. <clears throat> there's our NFL week uh, results and predictions. So, thanks for tuning in. Later, Bob.